still had a bit of a money to spend this month and I thought why don't I treat myself by getting a proper smart glasses and this one is called Vuzix Blade. It's quite expensive, it's about 1000 British pounds which I presume is going to be 1200 to 1500 US dollars and it's quite worth it because this is a proper smart glass and what I mean by proper smart glass is that a lot of smart glasses that is available in the market only has speakers or up to camera uh, function on it and we got few kickstarter projects that I already funded that is also coming along to my channel but that those upcoming projects also products actually requires a wire that needs to be connected to a converter to your smartphone etc but this one I understand is very independent bit chunkier but I think it's also fashionable as well um, so I just want to establish myself to the YouTube community as a tech reviewer that while the, all the famous YouTubers are busy uh, reviewing all these foldable phones or smartphones I want to enter the race early regards to the more advanced technology of smart glasses so this one is Vuzix Blade upgraded version 1.5 so it, it's the upgraded version from the uh, product that was released two or three years ago so it has a according to the backside an improved camera with auto fo focus so presuming there was a problem there an onboard stereo speaker so maybe an enhanced uh, speaker or maybe the previous version didn't have a speaker um, and it also has a safety glass certified as well so i'm not sure what, what it means by safety glass is it for work environment protecting your lens eyes or is it for um, long use of pc and so on but anyhow uh, let's get into the unboxing i'm really excited about it so here it goes. So it's a similar size to Sony XM4 um, box, I would say. Okay, now the moment of truth. We got also the View 6. I like that. And then, nice, look at that. What's inside here? We got a very small um, paper basically saying that um, upgraded in case charging, okay? so uh that's a new way so i'll figure out that later on this is like a um booklet quick start guide a card actually more like so um i will actually quickly scroll through that for uh, your interest so please do pause and have a look and these are just um all the sequences and applications and more of the technical side on the back also the safety and warranty booklet and here we have it people proper bag but other than that do we have anything inside here nope rather good quality i like that that's a proper metal um, logo there so a good quality product because it's quite expensive and if you open it up we got the actual glass look at that on the actual case itself it comes with a um, battery so you actually press and then you can actually charge it and um, also connect it for the wire at the same time so that's very handy and on the top hand side i can see some sort of like a pouch here but um yes here's a pouch and a uh, usb cable for charging and also um, another USB cable for data transfer, I presume, or longer length of charging, I think. Uh, you've got two options there, another separate uh, nose clip, uh, the ones that you can see here already. So if you get tired of this one, you can also replace it with another spare. All right, so to start with, you can see that um, after you peel out this rubber cover, there's the micro um, memory card slot, so you could actually expand the memory on here this is where you charge the um the actual smart glass if you look carefully there's two tiny holes here which i presume is for the speaker um, and also here's the power button and the um, microphone um, hole there so let me just zoom that in for you so i don't know whether you can see that and this is just the led light indication and um, as quite rightly i uh, have predicted there's the camera there I presume if you actually turn on the camera, there'll be a red light bulb so that it will let others know that you're actually using a camera so you don't need, uh, you'll be caught if you're trying to do it secretly. Um, <laughs> I believe this is also, I don't know whether you can see, there's a serial number there. 
uh, that's quite cool and this is the projector and that's for the oh did you see that 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 screen so that screen is going to be projected from this uh, projector here that's how i understand it i don't know whether you can see it um, but the lens itself is on the right hand side is thicker than the right hand side is thicker than the left hand side and um, if you look carefully there are two different sort of um, shapes so one is actually for the actual screen and the other was uh, some sort of like a almost uh, distorted square shape that is somehow maybe a wireless so wire connected invisible wire connected i don't know whether you can see that can you see that um yeah that rainbow kind of thing that you just saw there is probably helping all the projections so you can see that that is actually already projecting something uh, that's quite cool but it's actually like um, people can tell that you're watching something and i think you gotta zoom right in to see if there's ah see that okay so you can see that there's a writing there uh, like a license agreement document that you can see okay so that's actually zoomed in it's almost like an angle this way positioned okay so for the moment of truth because it came with a low battery now i'm actually charging at the same time but now that's how i look okay so now we're on the personalized you can actually uh, go to the enable uh, notification for um, access and so on i'm just gonna put that up whatever it is also display over the apps as well so if you click on that there are all these apps that um, you can choose to actually appear on the um, access side so if i were to go back next we got the uh, tutorial which is like shortcuts of tutorial okay so the home is basically pressing the two on here and on the back is two finger tap takes usual okay so there you could go back volume which basically is going up and down um, and then home basically is just press two on the actual sensor and that's pretty much it um, so tutorial so the voice you can actually go hello music take a picture okay so when i actually say hello music i can see the mic and also um, a circle actually popping up showing that it's actually listening to me and that's very cool so congratulations that's all linked up to my blade so um, it, the actual wi-fi is now connected and also the battery is 16 percent and the internal memory usage is only three percent so to, can i actually click on how how much of memory i got here but these are the photos that um that are the default ones that you can see also i could oh that's pretty cool that's exactly what i wanted so i could actually link up with amazon alexa and also with the google assistant uh this is what, what does it say b a uh, beta so okay so this is the google assistant beta um and you can do other uh logging in as well so um pretty straight on and also this is the virtual um, trackpad as well so if you find uh, this actual thing very difficult to control then I guess you can use this trackpad to control it and um, manage the storage let's see how much of a storage I this is all the internal sort of software which I don't want to um, you know touch but that's pretty much it actually and also you got another option of putting the micro sd card which i'll try to use as much as i can for taking photos or record stuff uh, when i visit certain places so that's pretty much it we go to the main page i can see the time and the date and if i actually scroll on the uh, right there's also amazon alexa uh, google uh, assistant as well uh, you can take photos so if you click on the photos you can actually capture the photo by uh, you know pressing that so that's a photo taken or you can actually record that as well a video clip that is so you can actually get a preview of what's happening here um, and um, you can actually change the settings for resolution i presume now um, you could actually control your um, mobile phone by using this but i haven't actually figured that out yet but i actually installed google earth so if i click on the google earth um, it's going to take a while to load but we can actually wait patiently for that um, so um, you can actually zoom in but i would actually recommend using the uh, app uh, trackpad because that's much better to use so you can see the scroll and then 
you can move around basically. So um, yeah, I can see that the earth is spinning by using the trackpad, but let's go to the actual uh, main page again. So now we could go to Netflix. You can actually watch video on Netflix um, and also PDF viewer. So these are the photos I just taken. Um, the Prime video as well, same as Netflix, you can watch video clips, scanner, and then this is the most important thing for me, that is. Uh, this is VueTube, which is pretty much YouTube, but integrated version for the view, um, for this smart glass actually. So if I click on that, we're logging in and um, I can see by using the actual um, trackpad, now I could search and I do have a history of using my LJP Tech uh, channel as a exercise. Now, if I go to the main page, you can see one of my latest videos. So if I were to press play, uh, the stuff, there you go. We get into that. So um, really it's actually playing the video, which is very cool. Um, when you, you can see a bit of a stallment there because um, it's not connected to Wi-Fi. So you, I recommend if you want to watch any YouTube video, you have to be connected with uh, the Wi-Fi. Um, so that's pretty much it. So you can actually watch YouTube. And I'm trying to figure out whether there's any app for um, navigation because I want those two main things. While I'm traveling, I do want to watch um, some YouTube's, but YouTube videos, but I think that's going to be quite challenging. But also I want to use this for navigation system, if you see what I mean. But I'm trying to figure out which one is the app, but there's quite a lot that you can download here. So I do need a bit of a study, but I hope uh, for the first impression, this will be enough to explain. Uh, so I'll be uploading more videos to explain on whether I discover more interesting apps and so on. So two things I'm actually immediately disappointed with is that it is rather quickly draining the battery without the um, power connection here. Obviously, if you don't watch something or if you're not uh, doing anything about it, it will automatically uh, the screen will disappear. So if you want to reignite the screen, you just need to press and then the uh, tiny sort of home screen will pop up and so on. Uh, but I would imagine if you want to watch videos like YouTube or Amazon um, Prime or also the Netflix, I think you definitely need uh, to be connected to your power source. On, and I think that's why it comes with the, um, the actual battery, which is very portable as well. Um, the other thing was I had the impression that you'll be able to somehow cast every single thing that is actually shown on your mobile phone that you'll be able to use every single app. In other words, I thought I'm going I was able to get uh, sort of like a um, live sort of guidance of or walking around in the street view. That's something navigation side actually uh, that especially I was hoping to use it. Um, when I'm gonna drive, but actually it does make sense that it's not available. Probably it's very dangerous to use that while I'm driving because um, when the screen pops up I, and when I focus on that, immediately I can see that I'm losing the attention to the rest of the surrounding um, situation. So it might be really dangerous relying on it, but I just don't see any problem using it when I'm actually walking in the middle of the street because I, I, I just don't like the fact that I'm use, looking at my smartwatch or my mobile phone to hold it up to see what sort of way of direction I can go. I actually hope that I'll be able to find a software or an app that is available within uh, the actual uh, Vuzix um, app, default app to guide me for, you know, walking on the street. I'm, I'm pretty sure it should be there. Otherwise, this sort of becomes more like a gimmick rather than a, um, a useful tech. So overall, I think I need a bit of a time to get used to this and train myself to use it. Um, and um, there's a lot of things to learn. It's like learning how to use a smartphone uh, from day one kind of feel if you see what I mean. And there's lots of things to study about. So if you could bear with me, but I hope for the first impression of the video, uh, you get the picture of what's happening uh, regards, especially uh, when it comes to the visualization of the actual lens. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.